Now let's actually find the wake vector W that minimizes the MSE. We'll start with the simplest situation when there's only one data point. On our coordinate plane, we have just one data point like this. The line that minimizes MSE only needs to pass through this single point. It's any line whose predicted value y hat matches the actual value y. There are infinitely many such lines that pass through this point. Let's look at this mathematically. Since there's only one data point, the loss function becomes very simple. Because L is a squared value, to minimize it, we just need to make the expression inside the square equal to zero. If it's not zero, the square will always be positive. It's the same idea when we take partial derivatives. When we take the partial derivative with respect to w1 and also with respect to w0, the condition for them both to be zero is exactly the same. The term inside the parentheses must be zero. Even when x equals zero, w1 becomes a free variable, so there are still infinitely many solutions. Now, let's try plotting w0, w1, and the loss function L on a three-dimensional coordinate system. Will we get a nice 3D surface? Not really. We already know that L equals zero at its minimum, and that there are infinitely many pairs of w0 and w1 that make L zero. So, we can already predict that all these points will lie on the w0, w1 plane where L equals zero. In fact, this equation takes the shape of a straight line. Here, x and y are given data values, while w o and w1 are the unknowns. It feels confusing, right? We're so used to thinking of x and y as unknowns, but here, they're fixed values. You'll need to get comfortable flipping that perspective. Since L equals zero, let's drop the L axis altogether and just look at the line itself. This line represents the entire set of solutions, the set of W0, W1 pairs that satisfy the equation.